how are you? Um, I believe today might be the beginning of the last of my nice little break from treatment. I've had about a month break because, you know, I had that tumor and they want to figure out what's going on first. And today is my <clears throat> actual appointment that I think I'm going to be finding out what I'm doing. And since I've stopped about two months or two weeks after for two weeks basically I was still very tired and still had a lot of the, the medicine in my the, uh, immunotherapy in my system so I was still very tired and um, still had a lot of side effects for another two weeks after that two weeks um, I started getting more energy and it was nice um, the only thing is, is it's kind of like <clears throat> I would do stuff because I had energy, <clears throat> but my body is not ready for doing that much stuff. So basically, I would do the stuff, and then the next day I would crash for maybe a full day, and I would sleep, and my body would be so in so much pain. So <clears throat> Monday, or I'm sorry, today is Tuesday. And Sunday, my daughter and I had bought up a conversation that we had talked about doing for the whole two month for the whole month that I was out. We were going to redo our closet, get rid of all um, stuff because I haven't gone through clothes for almost two years because I've been too too tired. <clears throat> and we would get rid of our stuff that we don't need and maybe make our our um walk-in closet into a, um, either a craft area for her or a, what she calls, um, cuddle corner or something like that. Basically where she puts all of her teddy bears and blankets. And then when she wants to, she can go there and read books and cuddle. So we'd have her, all of her teddy bears and blankets and a little area for her books. And then the rest of the area for our clothes. So we started doing that on Sunday afternoon and I was feeling really good and even when she left to go to her dad's house at 7.30 in the evening I continued doing it and I did it for way too long I just did it until I was way too tired to do anything else which was way too long for my body so Monday I woke up in pain at like 4.30 in the morning and I had only been sleeping for three hours, so, and um, when I woke up at 4.30, I was in a lot of pain, so I took some medicine and um, started finishing up with my clothes, which ended up being my work clothes from dental assisting, and it really was emotional, because I don't want to get rid of them, because in my head, I'm like, I love this, and I want to keep it in case, but when I tried it on, it was all way too big. And uh, so I knew even if I did go back, I would probably need new clothes because they were too big. So I did finish up with that and then I went back to sleep. And I didn't wake up <laughs> until today about 7 a.m. Today's Tuesday. So I basically slept all of Monday. And I woke up with my whole body being puffy. Uh, my hands are completely puffy. I'm not quite as puffy because I took some stuff to help that and I was walking around and my eyes were so puffy in the beginning that I couldn't see out of one of them, which happens quite often. And <clears throat> I barely could do anything with my fingers. I was trying to put a memory card in my um, phone, I mean, in my camera and I couldn't maneuver it. It was just a pain. So I'm on my way like a... Um, I don't know if I mentioned it. I'm on my way to my doctor's appointment. And last time we found out my results of the biopsy for, I'm sorry, the pathology, pathological, pathological <laughs> results for from St. Mary's, my hospital. And they said 100% breast cancer. And the other stuff from the other places my doctor wanted to send it out to um, hadn't come back yet. So... Uh, we waited, I think, about a week, and now we're hoping they're back. I was supposed to call them on Friday and find out, and I forgot. 
Um, I was doing too much. I was too excited because I had so much energy that I forgot. So anyway, I am just about at the office and um, what I'll do again, as always, try to sneak you in and set you somewhere before he comes. If I get you set up, then you'll see pieces of the actual appointment. Um, if not, then I will tell you afterwards, okay? I will talk to you soon. Hopefully you'll see a little glimpse of it before I talk to you again. Sciences from all the crap in the air, yeah. you know, allergies. <clears throat> I've, been, I've been sneezing off and on all day today. I mean, like, even my hands and like my, but that's gone down. Mm -hmm. Not as much, but just don't mind the way I look. <laughs> well, we have a little glitch. Again? What? Yeah. Again? <laughs> yeah, you know, what else is new? Right, right. that's true. It, there wasn't enough cells right. to do that special study. Oh, Dan, that's what happened last night. And was it? Yeah. We had to do my, uh, see, I thought, because they said when I was there doing the exam, oh, they started doing it, and they said, wait a minute, we need to get more this time. Mm -hmm. But last time, they did the normal needle yeah. or whatever, and then they told me there wasn't enough, and then I had to go back. Yeah. I'll have to talk to the pathologist about it. I, they just said, the biotheragnostics just said there wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. they, we got no answers. Well, we know what it, we know, well, no, here's the problem we have. We got an answer. We know it's malignant. Right. We know it looks just like your My sample own. of 2016, which also looks a lot like the breast cancer. Now, mm -hmm. our pathologist says, I know what is, says, but I swear this is breast cancer. Right, right. <laughs> I, mean, it, I remember when you were texting back and forth. I remember that. Yes, okay, and they still feel that way. So, I mean, that's why we <laughs> want to repeat the study to see... Uh, uh, in the meantime, do nothing. <laughs> well, it's no. just I see it. I feel it getting bigger. It, it's hurting yeah. now. I know. I know. Look, if it was breast cancer, I know I'd put you on. Okay, yeah. I'd put you on these pills. Take them twice a day. Called Zolota. Okay. It can be very effective in this circumstance. I think you would tolerate it. Okay. And you'd shrink that down. Okay. So I mean, that would be what I would start. <coughs> with, okay. Mm -hmm. So what I can do is I'm going to start working on getting you those because it okay. takes a couple days. Okay. In the meantime, I'll figure out if I have to do another biopsy or not. Right. So what I'd like to do is um, also send it out for another type of testing called foundation testing, foundation medicine testing, where they look for targets. <laughs> if you need targets, they can send that out, but you need tissue for that. Okay. Oh, okay. So I mean, so I like like one for the diagnosis and right. one for possibly unique targets that we can use. Right. In the interim, though, <clears throat> I can start you on the Zoloda. Okay. It's pills. It's probably going to be. Unknown caller. This is her. Okay. Hey there, Mercedes. Hey, how are you? Good. Hey, how are you? Well, so what I'd like to do is I I, I miss my problem. I mean, I I don't know what to treat her for. Right now. I'm kind of confused. Okay. I treated for melanoma again, and she's, now she's done very well on immunotherapy, okay? 